Good morning. Thank you all for coming this morning. Um, first, I would like to just take a couple minutes and recognize some of the uh, honored guests that we have here today. Um, first of all, from the Board of Trustees, we have Mark Hendricks. Mark, I don't know, oh, he's hiding over there in the corner. We have uh, Dr. Ed Hightower is here as well. <laughs> Chairman of the Board, John Simmons, is here with us. <laughs> and of course, Chancellor Vaughn Vandegrift is with us as well. Uh, my name is John Navin. I'm a professor and chair of the Department of Economics in the School of Business here at SIUE, and it's been my privilege to chair the search committee for the past five months. Um, I'd like to just take a few minutes to kind of walk through the search process, and then I'm going to turn the um, press conference over to uh, John Simmons, and then Dr. Pichard will introduce our new chancellor. So, sorry, <laughs> I'm obviously not used to being up here. Um, so soon after the uh, October announcement from Dr. Vandergriff that he was going to retire as our chancellor, uh, we began to form the search committee for the new chancellor at SIUE. Um, the search advisory committee is opposed, composed of 16 members from the university community, including faculty, staff, students, deans, alumni, and community members. Um, they were all nominated by their various constituency groups and then approved by the president's office. Um, I want to just take a minute and kind of recognize everybody in the front row here that is on the Chancellor Search Advisory Committee. So we have uh, Veronica Armudi, who is our alumni representative. You guys can all stand up. Betty Bergeron, the Dean of the School of Education. Rhonda Comrie, who's the Associate Professor of Nursing. Kathleen Gardner from Housing. Ron Gray, who is one of our community representatives. Calvin Gerald, who's a Professor of Theater and Dance. Brian Lotz from Information Technology Services, Susan Liu, our graduate student representative, Florence Matita, who's an associate professor in sociology and criminal justice, Laura Miles, who's the associate vice chancellor for student affairs, uh, Paul Pitts, who's the assistant chancellor for institutional compliance, Elio Reyes from the School of Dental Medicine, Paul Sarvela, who is our um, representative from the President's Office, uh, Joe Schober, Assistant Professor of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and our undergraduate student representative is Nolan Sharkey, who is the President of Undergraduate Student Government. So thank you all very much. So beginning back in November, the committee in consultation with the President's Office wrote the position description, which was then placed in a number of national higher education publications. SIU also enlisted the help of uh, Parker Executive Search, which is a search firm out of Atlanta, Georgia. And we began soliciting nominations and applications. Um, we had almost 40 applications for the position, and from those applications, the search committee narrowed the list down to nine. In mid-March, we did off-campus interviews with nine candidates. And from those nine, we invited four uh, candidates to campus for a two and a half day <laughs> series of interviews with over 20 constituency groups. Um, it was quite a process. We received feedback from over 300 people, alumni, community members, and members of campus. So it was really overwhelming. Uh, it was fabulous. Uh, the committee, the university community, and the president in consultation with the board of trustees has then made our final selection. I just want to say it's really been my honor to lead SIUE through this process, but I can't express the tireless work of the committee members. They were just fabulous to work with. I also want to thank the entire SIUE community for their help in welcoming the candidates to campus and also for providing us with their frank evaluation of every candidate that we had. <laughs> um, and they were frank. Um, <laughs> Finally, I want to thank the staff of the President's Office, in particular uh, Paula Keith and Antoinette Myers, who were fabulous, Paul Sarvela, who guided us through this process, and of course, of course most importantly, President Pichard, who was very patient with me as we worked through this process. I really appreciate it. 
Um, that concludes my remarks. At this time, I'm going to turn the press conference over to John Simmons. Well, as chairman of the SIU Board of Trustees, and as you heard, I'm being joined this morning by Dr. Ed Hightower and Mark Hendricks, and I also noticed our student trustee, Jeffrey Harrison, in the back. I'd like to reflect upon this important occasion. As a graduate of SIUE, the history and future of this university are very important to me and the trustees gathered here. For over 50 years, SIUE has grown in size and stature and has gained much national recognition for the quality of its programs and its people. During that period of time, we've enjoyed exceptional leadership, which has consistently moved SIUE forward. Now we are at an important point where we want to thank you and the best wishes to one of the leaders while extending a hand of welcome to another. And I'm confident that SIUE is going to move to the next level of higher education prominence. Thank you. Go Cougars. Good morning. And thank you for being here today. It's been my honor for the past six and a half years to serve as president of Southern Illinois University and to watch and assist SIU Edwardsville in the goal of becoming a premier metropolitan university. Starting with our board of trustees who provide policy and direction for the success of our university and continuing on through the administration, faculty, staff, and of course our excellent students, we have much of which to be proud. Before introducing the new chancellor to whom we will now entrust the future leadership of SIU Edwardsville, I want to pay a special tribute to Dr. John Navin, Dr. Paul Sarvala from my office, and the members of the search committee who have worked tirelessly over the past five months, spending hundreds of hours evaluating an outstanding field of candidates through a long and thoughtful process. Our entire campus community owes you a great debt for your service. Thank you. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Our new chancellor, beginning July 1st, is presently provost and vice chancellor for academic and student affairs at the University of Wisconsin Stout. She received her undergraduate degrees from the Uni University of Wisconsin system and her doctorate degree in education from the University of Minnesota. She has an extensive research and writing background. As Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs, she led the assessment action leading to University of Wisconsin Stout being the first higher education recipient of the prestigious Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award. She has been the keynote speaker and presenter at numerous national, regional, and state educational conferences on quality enhancement in higher education. She is a sought-after international presenter, having spoken at conferences in Singapore, Dubai, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Thailand, Puerto Rico, Canada, England, India, Taiwan, Mexico, Japan, and Austria. In my discussion with Dr. Charles Sorensen, the chancellor to whom she reports in the Wisconsin system, his words of praise for her abilities centered on her desire for ac quality academic improvement. When I had my initial meeting with the search committee, I asked them, what is your number one priority for a new chancellor? And in unison, they responded, quality academic improvement. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you a person that I believe, with our help, will be an outstanding chancellor for SIU Edwardsville, Dr. Julie First Bovey.
good morning. I'm just very happy to be here today. I'd like to thank John Navin and the members of the search committee for all of their hard work, and it was just a pleasure getting to know all of them. I'd also like to thank the Board of Trans uh, Trustees and President Bouchard uh, for selecting me for this position. Uh, this is a wonderful professional and personal opportunity for me. I was really attracted to SIUE because of its reputation as an up-and-coming institution, uh, because of its reputation for quality academic programs, and because of all of the, the wonderful things that you were doing. Uh, when I visited the campus, I found that everything that I had read about and heard about what was absolutely true. I was so impressed uh, by the dedication of the faculty uh, and by the energy of the students. We've got great, great students here. Uh, the campus is absolutely beautiful, and I really appreciate all of the, the deer and the geese and everything, <laughs> all the wildlife. Oh, it's beautiful, it's like a park. And Edwardsville just looks like it's going to be a, a wonderful place um, to live and to work. Uh, I plan to spend the next several months uh, getting to know all of you, getting to know everyone on the campus and in the community, and I look forward to the challenge of keeping this institution moving forward in the right direction as it has been. Uh, so thank you, thank you for giving me this opportunity.